Have you ever thought about increasing the price of your product or service, but for whatever reason, just haven't done it yet? Or maybe you think that you can't do it because people won't buy from you. Or are you like the other businesses that don't even think about it? If the answer is yes to any or all of these questions, then you're watching the right video. Hi, I'm Doug C. Brown, and in this video, I'm gonna share when it makes sense to increase your price and what to do and not to do when doing so. Increasing the price of your product or service is one of several ways of increasing your sales revenue of your company. Some people already know this and some don't, and very often, both groups ask me this question. When does it make sense to increase the price? The answer is simple, every single time you can because the higher price points, the larger the profit and the more cash flow that you have to work with. And all of this comes with a caveat. When you want to increase your price, you have to do it in a smart way, instead of picking a wish price from the top of your head. Let me explain to you what I mean by that. You have to test price sensitivity. By the way, not testing a price is one of the most common mistakes companies make when raising a price. I had a client who was selling college planning services and their average service price was $2,250 and they decided they wanted more margins. So they raised their price up from $6,000 to $10,000 and that resulted in a massive drop in the conversion rate. Their close rate dropped and plummeted from an average of 20% to 6% and they were in a worse place revenue wise than they were prior to the price increase. Now, what happened here is they didn't test the price sensitivity. In other words, the price that the market was willing to pay for what they were offering. So you might ask yourself, okay, but how do I do that? How can I test price sensitivity? There are a few things that you can do. First, do your research. Talk with your past clients, your current clients, and your potential customers and ask them if they're willing to pay your new price for your offer. Do the research. Also, look at what your competitors are doing and the price point they're offering. As the numbers are telling a story, try to figure out what other people would accept. Look at different factors and set your new price based on those factors. Secondly, test your new price point. The worst thing you can do is just to assume what might happen. You have to test the price that you wanna offer by having all of the factors found during the research in mind. While testing, I would recommend starting small and increasing your prices gradually. Thirdly, be bold enough and confident enough in the value you provide to raise your prices again. One of my clients raised their prices four times in a year. It did not hurt their conversion rate at all. I have two additional tips for you that'll help you sell your services at new and higher prices. Tip number one, make sure that you or someone who's selling for you knows how to present the value of your offer to the potential buyer. It's not so much about how much value you see in your offer, but it's about the ability to present it in a way that your potential buyer's perception will be higher in the value of the offer than what you're asking for. And tip number two, make sure that your personal confidence is high enough to be able to sell at a higher price. Confidence is absolutely necessary for raising the perception of value and the perception of the price. I had a client who was a coach and she was charging $15,000 for her offer. During our work together, she landed a client for $300,000. What did she change? Well, she changed her level of confidence in the way she presented her offer so the client could see a higher value in that. A client was now willing to invest $300,000, whereas before she would have charged $15,000 for the same thing. Thanks for watching again. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel to hear more about my sales revenue growth insights. And also please comment and let me know your thoughts as well as what you'd like for me to talk about next. To your success.